Well, when it comes to our weather today, I'll tell you what. In the usual spots, it is going to be foggy, but for most of us, not at all. Taking a live look at the Golden Gate Bridge, one of the usual spots, you can see visibility not so great. In fact, you can't even see the bridge at all. Our current temperature is 60 degrees in Concord, San Jose 59, Santa Rosa 53 degrees, and Livermore 61 in those inland areas. It's going to be certainly warmer today. In fact, above average temperatures are expected. So, cloud along, oh, well, forgive that spelling. Error. But anyway, cloud and fog along the coast. And then in the inland areas, we're going to have those above average temperatures, about five degrees or more. And then cooling off next week, the beginning of the week, so to speak. Now, it's this low pressure system down here we'll eventually watch. But in the meantime, this high pressure system is going to be dominating our pattern. So that high pressure system is pretty much pushing down the marine layer, right? So it's compacting it. It can't get inland in some of the spots it normally would. It can really only go into the places where it's easy, like the Golden Gate, the Petaluma Gap. That's what's going to keep those temperatures cool in those areas. But for the rest of us, it's going to be nice and warm. This low pressure system eventually will be moving in, but not until the middle of next week. Our future cast shows that marine layer off the coast, not so much moving into those inland areas. You can see it really only gets through here into the Petaluma Gap, but that's pretty much it. And so those inland areas are going to be hot for today. Again, about five degrees or or so warmer than average. Tomorrow will even be warmer than it is today. But our high temperatures for the day, 89 degrees in Santa Rosa, will be close to the 90s. But we will be in the 90s, the mid 90s in those far inland areas, 92 in Fairfield, Concord 94, Livermore 93. Now, oh, closer to the bay, we'll be in the mid 70s because we will have a little bit of that marine layer influence there. But for the most part, not as much as, say, earlier in the week. Along the coast, though, we will still have that in. Uh, influence, though it isn't going to be very strong. So we'll actually get close to 70s along the coast, 67 degrees in Pacifica, 68 in San Francisco. So for those of you who are golf fans in Harding Park, today is going to be absolutely beautiful, 67 degrees, partly cloudy in the afternoon hours. It'll actually start to clear out and be even better than that. Your seven day forecast shows those warm temperatures in those inland areas, warmer even tomorrow before we begin to cool off. That big cool off isn't happening until the middle of next week, but even Take a look along the coast. Not too uh, above average today, but tomorrow is going to be certainly warmer than we have seen in the last couple of days. And then we will begin to cool off again by the middle of next week. But it's interesting. It's really a strong variant between the uh, coastal temperatures with the fog and those inland areas where it's clear and hot. And the fogs, plural, will burn off roughly at what time today? The fogs, plural, uh, will burn off at before midday because it's okay. just along the coast. But it'll still be a little bit cloudy. Um, but, yes, I think fogs, plural, is going to be an interesting thing to watch. All right. <laughs> if you